All right, we are live on DentonRadio.com as well as our Facebook page with the one, the only, I don't want to mispronounce this, I'm so sorry. Do you, Valicia. There it is, Valicia <laughs> hey Butterfield. <guys>. That's <laughs> When in doubt, just always let somebody say That's their right. name. <laughs> well, Valicia, you are here as the national chair for the Denton Black Film Festival, which kicks off today yes. here in lovely Denton, Texas. Um, when you are not here at the festival, you are the CEO of the Women in Entertainment Powerment Empowerment Network Movement, yes. uh, which is fantastic. Thank you. Um, and uh, so we couldn't be more honored to have you here in Denton to be a part of this festival. We are so, so, so excited about it. So thank you for coming. Of course. Really appreciate to have you here on the radio. Of course. Um, so when you're not here doing the festival, what does your day-to-day as CEO look like? Oh, man. Uh, there's no structure, <laughs> as you know, in the entertainment business. Um, every day is just all about creating programs for young women who want to do jobs like yours mm. and mine uh, behind the scenes in the entertainment business. Very and so cool. it's exciting work, but we really show kind of the other side of the business. Yeah. It's not quite glamorous, as you know. I got gotcha. And uh, it, it's a lot of exciting work, just kind of shedding, you know, kind of the, the perceptions out there about the business and giving girls the real honest truth. Perfect. I love it. And you're going to be sitting on a panel. Mm-hmm. Um And when's that panel going to be? Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Tomorrow, 10 a.m. Yes. We've got such cool panels going on. This one's specifically for women that want to be in entertainment. Correct. Um, Awesome, star-studded lineup. Mm -hmm. It's going to be amazing information. Mm -hmm. Any woman watching this that wants to be in entertainment, I don't think, can miss that panel. That's That's, right. That's going to be a -a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So excited to get to see that. Um, So just as a a little taste for what they could get there, if there's um, a young lady watching this that says, you know, I want to get into the entertainment field, what what do my next steps need to be? What what advice would you give to them? Well, I think the hard truth about the entertainment industry is that it's a male-dominated industry, mm. right? So tomorrow we're talking to young women who want to work in the business. So we're going to show them, you know, the ugly side sometimes, the hard work, the hours you have to put in, mm. uh, the unpaid internships that yeah. are involved in getting in the door, but then also staying ahead of the trends. Right. And so thinking about technology and the digital age and the way mm. even shows like yours have taken online platforms just to expand the audience yeah. um, is the way that we plan to, you know, kind of structure tomorrow's conversation. Cool. Yeah, so it very, should be good. Cool. That's exciting. Always being, uh, trying to be a student yeah. and be one step ahead mm-hmm. of what's happening. And with technology, it's all changing so fast. That's right. Uh, just to put a, a bunch of like minds that can think on that level in one room is going to create such synergy. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's just going to be just sitting there taking it in. It's going to be really, really cool. Yeah. Awesome, 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 awesome. So this is not your first time in Denton. No. Um, you hail from New York. Yes. Uh, <laughs> for a little while, you were in Dallas. We'll get into that in a second. Yes. But this is not your first time in Denton. It's not. I spoke at UNT a couple of years ago on a women's uh, panel, and and it was a lot of fun. Didn't always shows me love. Very cool. Well, and and if we can, can we go a little into your, you've got some Dallas ties as well. And if you'll elaborate on that. Of course. So my husband um, has played in the NBA now for 14 years. Cool. And he had a stint with the Dallas Mavs. Oh, wow. And so I worked and lived in Dallas uh, in Uptown on McKinney Avenue, for those of you guys from Dallas, and, and just had a lot of fun and just really enjoyed Texas. It's a beautiful state. Denton, of course, you know, love UNT and all the campuses around here. And so, yeah, we had a good time. Um, my husband played for the Cavs last year cool. and was able to finally get that ring. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully he'll retire love you. <laughs> <laughs> because he did it, and I'm so happy. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Um, well, I am just ecstatic to get this festival going. Um, anybody that doesn't know, we've got film. We've got these great panels. They've got the comedy. They've got music. They've got uh, a spoken word. There's just mm-hmm endless 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 uh things that people can can come be a part of um if they're wanting to to get into entertainment they can come as your panel and all that really cool stuff how did all this come together for you you know it's funny because uh, there's so many jobs i mean hundreds of mm-hmm. jobs behind the scenes in the entertainment industry yeah. and so you have radio programmers and television producers and writers and editors and i think uh the goal of the festival was really to shed light on the opportunities that exist, but also give a platform to those indie filmmakers. Mm. And so a gentleman named Harry, who is the head of the film festival, gave me a call about a year ago, wanted me involved, and it was an instant yes. I think uh, it's you know just long overdue that we really pour our time and our energy and resources into the indie filmmakers. Yeah. And so that's what this weekend is about. Uh, so many filmmakers, even college students who are mm-hmm. making films on their iPhones and editing and chopping it up are here presenting their work. 
And so it's just so excited, it's exciting to see the talent right here in Texas yeah. that we have to, you know, embrace. So cool. So if somebody watching wants to find more information about you specifically, where can they go? Well, the first thing is on Instagram. <laughs> I'm on social media, just my first name, at Valicia, V-A-L-E-I-S-H-A. And then also on the website, weanonline.org. But, you know, I'm always out there I'm on the road, speaking to college students, speaking to young women especially. And so I'm accessible. And so if you ever have questions, if you see me tomorrow at the panel, come up. Don't be shy. You know, I'm here to answer any questions that you have. Awesome. Very, very cool. All right, everybody. It is the Denton Black Film Festival. It kicks off today officially. Do not miss your opportunity to check it out. You can get tickets to specific events if you'd like to. You don't have to get a ticket that does the whole festival, but I guarantee after you do one thing, you're going to want to get the ticket that does the rest of it. So make sure you check it out. Go to DentonBFF.com. That's Denton Black Film Festival. Or that's Denton Best Friends Forever, according to Harry Eady. That's (laughs) that's how he got it. I'll never forget it now. So Denton. BFF.com. <laughs> check it out on Facebook. Check it out on Instagram. Check it out on all that good stuff. You can also go to discoverdenton.com. We've got more information about it there as well. You can come down here to the Welcome Center. We're going to be doing great interviews with some of these amazing talents all weekend. Uh, we've also got some Denton Black Film Festival merch over here. we got everything Denton Black Film Festival in one place. So uh, we're going to go ahead and sign off and jump back into the music. Relisha, is there anything else you'd like to add? I just hope to see you tomorrow. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Don't miss it, guys. Okay.